that you're comfortable with the mean, median, and mode, let's explore three different measures of central tendency, the trimean, the geometric mean, and the trimmed mean. Although these measures are not as frequently used as the mean, median, and mode, they are still important and should probably be used more than they are. The first measure is called the trimean. It is a weighted average of the 25th percentile, the 50th percentile, and the 75th percentile. The formula for the trimean is the 25th percentile, which we label P25, plus twice the 50th percentile, plus the 75th percentile, all divided by 4. As you can see from the formula, the median is weighted twice as much as either the 25th or the 75th percentile. As an example, let's look at the number of touchdown passes thrown by each of the 31 teams in a National Football League season. The relevant percentiles are shown in the table to the right. Using the formula, we know to first add 15, 2 times 20, and 23, and then to divide this number by 4. This leaves us with a trimean of 19.5. The second measure of central tendency we'll explore in this section is the geometric mean. It is computed by multiplying all the numbers together and then taking the nth root of the product. The equation for the geometric mean says to multiply all the values of x, where the pi symbol means to multiply, and x means all the numbers in the distribution, and then to raise the result to the 1 over nth power. n is the number of numbers in the distribution. As you probably know, raising a value to the 1 over nth power is the same as taking the nth root of the value. For example, for the numbers 1, 10, and 100, the product of all the numbers is 1 times 10 times 100, which equals 1,000. Since there are three numbers, we take the cubed root of 1,000, which turns out to be 10. The geometric mean has a close relationship with logarithms. This table shows the logs, base 10, of 1, 10, and 100. The arithmetic mean of the three logs is 1. In case you don't remember about logs, the log is the number you would have to raise 10 to to get x, you would have to raise 10 to the 0 power to get 1, to the first power to get 10, and to the second power to get 100. The antilog of this arithmetic mean of 1 is the geometric mean of 10. Are you wondering what an antilog is? It is really very simple. To compute the antilog of 1, you take the base of the logarithm that you used, 10 in this case, and raise it to the first power. Since 10 to the first is 10, the antilog of 1 is 10. This is the same answer we got by multiplying the three numbers together and taking the cubed root. The third measure of central tendency we'll discuss in this section is the trimmed mean. The trimmed mean is computed by removing a specified proportion of scores from the top and bottom of the distribution and computing the mean of the remaining scores. As a result, the trimmed mean is less influenced by extreme scores than is the arithmetic mean. A mean trimmed 10% is a mean computed with 10% of the scores trimmed off, 5% from the bottom, and 5% from the top. Likewise, a mean trimmed 50% is computed by trimming the lower 25% of the scores and the upper 25% of the scores, and then computing the mean of the remaining scores. Trimmed means are sometimes used to lessen the effects of individual scores. For example, the trimmed mean is used in Olympic diving. In a way, the trimmed mean is similar to the median, which in essence, trims the upper 49 plus percent and the lower 49 plus percent of the scores. As such, the trimmed mean is something of a hybrid of the mean and the median. Let's go back to the NFL football example. To compute the mean trimmed 20%, you remove the lower 10% of the scores, 6, 9, and 12, as well as the upper 10% of the scores, 33, 33, and 37, and compute the mean of the remaining 25 scores. This results in a trimmed mean of 